You know, after several weeks away, the man, the myth, the legend, one of my big supporters on his channel has made another request. Uh, the great Bo Sheaves from Woodstock, New Brunswick, my old time buddy. Thank you, Bo. Uh, Bo was mentioned the other day about a certain goaltender that he felt deserved uh, recognition for not only his quality of play, but the fact was he kind of made NHL and WHA history. So today we're going to be talking about the highly skilled Dave Parrot. Now Dave Parrot, uh, P-A-R-R-O, pronounced like Gilbert Pro, but not spelled obviously uh, the same. Uh, was a Saskatoon, Saskatchewan product, born April 30th, 1957. Now, they say he makes some of the best hockey players from a good old Saskatoon, and this guy was an example of that. He was eventually drafted uh, 34th overall by the Bruins in the 1977 uh, entry draft, and 90th overall by the Houston Arrows. Now, he was the first goalie taken in the 77 draft and also the final, the final player overall to be drafted to the WHA. As of all teams, the Houston Arrows chose him with the final pick 90 overall in the 10th round. But Dave was uh, a highly uh, respected player. He was a WCHL second all-star team in 76 and 77 in the, in the Saskatoon uh, W, what's now the WHL system. First campaign in the SJHL, he played 29 games with a 4.21 average. 75, he played 35 games with Saskatoon of the SJHL and Saskatoon of the WCHL, the Blades. Uh, 76, the big totals, 28, 6 and 2 with a 340 average with one shutout. And uh, 77, 28, 26 and 12 as the number one goalie. Now, not the biggest uh, player on the ice, 5'10", 155. He was Saskatoon's MVP in 77. And he holds the record uh, for most games played by a goalie in one season, 69 and 77, and most saves in one season, 2,062, ladies and gentlemen, that same year. He entered the Hockey News uh, draft preview issue as the WCHL's number two, two goalie prospect for the 77 NHL draft. Now, he debuted uh, for Washington against Edmonton in 1981, and uh, Boston, unfortunately, decided uh, not, to, uh, not, to, not to use him. Now, before getting the chance to play for Boston, he was claimed by the Quebec Nordiques in a 79 NHL expansion draft. Two days later, the Nordiques traded him to the Capitals. After remaining in the Capitals organization until 84, he spent several seasons in the IHL before retiring. Now, uh, let's look at the breakdown. Uh, with the Rochester Americans, first season in the AHL put up outstanding numbers, 25-16-3 with a 3.65 average in 46 games. 79, he split time between Rochester and the Grand Rapids Owls, who were in the IHL at the time, uh, with 43 games. 79-80, he played a majority of the season in Hershey, with a rough 10-30-3 record. First taste at the NHL was in 81. He won 4-7-2 in 18 games, with one shutout. 81 split time between Hershey and Washington. Washington 82 was sort of the unofficial number one for the squad. 16, 26, and 7 record with a 4.2 uh, average. 83, uh, again, majority of games in Hershey. 21, 20, and 4 with a 1 3 1 record uh, in, uh, in Washington. 84 back with Hershey, a 12, 21, and 5 record. And again, uh, only one game with. Uh, Washington 84 actually only played one minute. That's a disservice to his talent. For some reason, no other uh, player uh, teams in the league were trying to get his uh, skills. In my personal opinion, he was a quality goalie. I saw him play a series of games. Uh, uh, I think it was it against the Rangers in his uh, 82 season. And like I said, he played the angles quite well. A good, strong, uh, what is a uh, partial number one or like a, what they call a shared duty goalie. Nothing but skill on my side. Now in the IHL, he played for Fort Wayne and Salt Lake of the uh, International Association, 33 games in 85. Then with the Flint Spirits, where he went 10, 34, and 0 in 46 starts. And then the Indianapolis Checkers to wrap up his career with a 16, 14, and 0 record in 34 games. NHL totals, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 21, 36, and 10 with a 4.09 uh, average. Now, 
Injuries were, were really a, a hard part of his career. He missed part of the 81 season with a separated shoulder in a game against Calgary uh, on February 5th of 81. Uh, he had the longest shutout streak actually uh, in Washington history up until that time for 119 consecutive minutes between January 12th and 15th. Anyway, uh, Mo shots face and saves the season, uh, 82, 1654, and 1447. And again, that uh, bruised shoulder blade uh, issues uh, hurt again in 82. Now, a lot of the words, and bear with me here. AHL Calder Cup in 1980 in Hershey. AHL All-Star Second Team 83 in Hershey. AHL Shoutouts Leader 79 in Rochester. IHL Shoutouts Leader 87 in Indy. He played on the IHL regular season champion in 79, Grand Rapids. AHL regular season champion, 81 in Hershey. IHL regular season champion, Fort Wayne in 86. Now, upon retirement, became a youth uh, hockey assistant coach after his retirement, working with traveling teams in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Now, uh, we talked about injuries, one of the most roughest injuries I've ever heard a, uh, a goalie uh, suffer. He missed end of the 87 season with an ulcerated colon, an injury diagnosed in March of 87. Now again, after uh, after leaving hockey, he moved to Hershey and also played on the Flyers alumni charity hockey team after retirement, even though he was never part of the Flyers organization. But a show of respect uh, that uh, players in NHL had for uh, for Mr. Powell because, uh, you know, he was that dedicated. But an ulcerated colon, man, he could have died for that. He was playing literally. He was, uh, could have been on his last legs, a uh, very dedicated individual. Now, uh, the Paru unprotected in the Yankee expansion draft, uh, Quebec traded uh, uh, for Nelson Burton to get Paru. I think uh, Washington got the best of that trade. But he had, I understand, ladies and gentlemen, Washington was still building as a franchise. He had players like Rod Langway were coming in. Uh, and, uh, you know, Dave Christian and a few others. So it was, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the situation in Washington. They had poor goaltending when he first started, but they were getting a plethora of good goalies uh, later on, uh, even into the Basin years, and, you know, it was starting to pay off. They were getting playoff runs and all kind of all kind of good stuff like that. Now, uh, Perro, unfortunately, never paid to play in the playoffs, but uh, the 1988 HL season with Hershey played eight big games, and, uh, you know, he was, he was a sensation in Hershey. I mean, he was a very popular individual because, you know, he was good with the kids, he was good with the fans, good with the media. I've seen uh, people uh, print about him saying, you know, just a straightforward guy. Good, as we like to say in, in uh, Saskatchewan, a good Saskatoon boy, as we like to say. So that's the legend of Dave Perro. If you like what we're doing here with our Vintage NHL podcast, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, Bo Sheaves, a gentleman and a scholar, much more brains than me. But Bo uh, would like you to know, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we passed 320,000 hits on our channel. Now, consider that it's not a large amount, but considering all word amount, no promotion or monetization, we're uh, getting close to maybe 700 subscribers. And again, it doesn't seem much, but this is just a project, ladies and gentlemen, where we do it with the feedback from the public. I do not know of any requests podcast channel for vintage NHL and WHA and uh, international hockey out there. If there is, let me know. I'd like maybe to discuss with that person how to improve our channel. And if there's any comments besides uh, uh, cleaning up my audio suite, I have no audio card on my computer. It was lost in a power outage. So I have to... Uh, uh, follow the, the program I'm buying for free so I do apologize if you want to send me a mic put me an instant message and maybe maybe if you got a second hand one I'll take it I'm not going to take something uh, free because I don't believe in you know uh, you guys supporting uh, my project but if you have something you want to recycle I gladly take it because you know it is what it is because I can't find one that matches uh, it's kind of weird but this comp is 10 years old you know what I'm saying it's, it's, it's 2010 technology Thanks for listening, and don't forget, stay cool if you can. Bye.